Hi guys, welcome back to Source Hunter. Source Hunter? You were Source Hunter? So, I say we go to the inn because we've been trying to do fucking Effin's thing for a very long time, and now we have a double reason to go there, so... Lead the way, Source Hunter. I'm the one with the fucking paper, so sure. Uh, is this it? I don't think it is. Maybe it is. Wait, my friends, for Alexander the Innocent. Yeah, I'll step in. This, yeah, go sorcerers. ahead. There's a ghost nearby. Ghosts may linger anywhere they have unfinished business. Cast spirit to regularly find them. Uh, do we really want to talk to ghosts right now? Oh man, there's a ghost bartender! Uh. Oh. Do I talk to it or should I talk to it? I'll talk to it. Okay, good. I don't know why I told you that and not me. The spirit of the Magister stares dumbly at her translucent hand, the fingers of which have been sheared off. My ring. Where's my ring? Ask what happened to her. The spirit pivots her wrist, staring at the fingerless hand, utterly, morbidly entranced. I should have been more careful. She hacked at my sword hand first. I couldn't defend myself. Implore her explain who she means, who attacked her. The spirit stares, absorbing your question. Finally, she points her fingerless hand towards the kitchen. Ask her when she died, recently? The spirit's lips part, trying to form an answer. But it doesn't come. She forlornly stares at you, unable to find the words. Take your leave. I just noticed that you didn't use a source point when you did that. Yeah, it's a free skill. Oh, it is a free skill. Oh, I didn't know that. I just I just assumed it costed a, uh, a source point because I thought we used it and then it like it was weird. So why is it, why is this not a toggleable thing? Why can't we just see fucking ghosts all the time? I'm going it's here. Spooky. Hello, Papa Trash. Papa, no, no, you no go. Uh, tell him you're looking for someone named Lohar. He grins unpleasantly. Loha didn't tell me to let any blushing scale face in, so why should I? Uh, you're not used to snuff, uh, sniff at the grubby dwarf, but you're not used to such treatment. Yeah? I'd get used to it if I were you. Nobody will be sucking your fingers clean round here. You again. I told you to scram once. Don't make me say it with my fists. Rub your fingers together in a universal <laughs> symbol for bribery. You can't buy my friendship. Uh. Oh dude, he's got a uh, he's got scoundrel skills. Uh. Rupture. You know, for all those scoundrels we have. Yeah. Gag order. Set silence. Chloroform. Uh. Oh, you can buy 10 seconds of me eyeballs examining the ground for let's say a small fortune. You look like you'd be good for it. Uh, I have to pay 50, 50, 50 gold for him to look at the I like how your options are pay 50 gold or pay 50 gold. You have no intention of paying that much to receive, uh, to de delve deeper into his flea ridden Flophouse 50. Hand over more than you think this is worth, shaking your head at the shakedown. But it's both 50. Fine, whatever. He pockets the coin and gazes dramatically at the ground mere inches from your feet. Wow, what an asshole. Well, alright. Wait, what? Where is he going? Oh, he's just hanging out, apparently. That's where he lives. I, I guess so. Alright, who'd you have to talk to? Look at my journal. Alright. Baron. I'm gonna go find a hooker. Someone to read me a book, you know. So I, I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> Stick to your own kind is my advice. Is more a weathered woman in a dirty sea captain's tunic babbles breathlessly to herself. Okay, there is a s spirit of semen. <laughs> <Stop>. Semen? <laughs> spirit of semen. This is fucking weird up here. The bell rings a warning and the tide is on the turn. Yeah. And I, without my compass. Uh, if she had held a compass, she may have been a captain. Ask her where uh, her ship lies. Earth thread, whatever. Should you have a compass? No, she has a shirt. The ship is in the locker, on the bottom in the rocky shallows, and all are drowned but me. And yet, 
Can you hear? <laughs> the bell rings on. <laughs> The bell haunts me yet, and it would drive me mad. I, 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 <laughs> I tell her you hear no bell. Perhaps I am already mad. But I swear I hear the bells. Please, make it stop. She buries her head in her hands and cries. Make it stop. All right, why are you ringing a bell? Oh, what the, what the fuck are you talking to him for? I thought you were talking to him already. No, I wasn't. Oh, fuck. All right, tell him to stop being a dick. Uh, I want to do the yeah. beast option. Yeah, yeah, do that one. <laughs> Snap him to stand to attention when he talks to a captain. Tell him you sail for yourself, and he shall take his orders from you. He stands to attention. <laughs> I'm on duty here, sir. There are rocks ahead, and Abel Weather must know it. Tell him he is relieved. He blinks once, twice. A single salty tear drips from one ghostly eye. The bell falls silent. He raises a finger to his temple in salute, and fades away. Godspeed! Alright, we got rid of your thing. breathlessly on, barely away or there. My ears are still a ringing. Uh, tell her the bell should ring no more. And I have you to thank for it? Then thank you, I surely do. That accursed bell lies with the peacemaker, on the bottom in the rocky shallows. My compass lies there too. Uh... Ask her what happened to the peacemaker's cargo if there was one. There must have been, must have been salvage value. She goes white, as white as the proverbial ghost. You've got no call to go looking for no cargo. Far as anyone's concerned, we sail with an empty hold, and if there's anything left to salvage, you leave it where it is. Heed me. Leave the cargo of the peacemaker alone. She turns away. Conversation over. Oh, really? Choose your reward. Uh. The pot helm. I kind of want to pick the lock on this chest, so. Yeah, go. Uh, you, you. I, I definitely think you should. Okay, the rewards are kind of garbage. It's like there's a belt, there's a, a, a helm, and then there's chain pants. Oh uh, shit! Not a bad chest. It's a diary, which I'll give straight to you. I'm just gonna take the chain pants. Prime okay. skill book, I'm gonna give to Ethan, Actually, so you can sell it. And how much armor does your belt give you? For, uh, for both your characters? Uh, for... 7 for Beast. Okay. I'll just put some leadership and... I'm not even gonna fucking... Yeah, you can have that. It's a much better belt. Here, I'm gonna go talk to her. Another bell? Hey, I can make... At least a point of leadership or whatever. That accursed bell lies with the peacemaker. Oh, I can ask her about the compass. The ask her about the compass. My, the compass surely lies on the bottom, near where the ship was wrecked. <laughs> Take it with my blessing, if you can find it. My sailing days are done. Ask for the location of the wreck. Let me mark your chart. But you be warned. Stay off the wreck itself. Let her lie as a monument to her dead crew. And as testament to my mistake. Alright, have a good one. Alright, oh, Dude! What? Talk to her again. Distract. Fuck, let me, let me just have Seabill do it. I, I want to walk around. She stares off into the distance at some unseen <laughs> Ignoring Seabell. Ignoring you completely. Alright, let me save it. I got a sweet hat. A sweet hat. It's in Ethan's inventory. Just look at it. Oh, one sec. Yeah, let me show party inventory. Why, why does Seabell have an unidentified sword? I got it in the chest. Alright. Well, I, I would give it back to you, but it's stolen. And I know how the game actually do notices that. What'd you get? Where's the hat? E-fan. Plate armor. Oh shit, that, that's nice plate armor. I want that. Oh, fucking pirate hat! Yeah! Fucking joking. Stolen though, but jeez! But you get healing ritual from it. A robbery! What the fuck? I've heard of someone like you get l lurking about getting tr Who is she talking to? Because they robbed the Why did you fucking give her shit? I didn't. Point. I, I, talking to the party. Yeah, who are you? I never. Who are you? You never dream of causing trouble. Very well. Not so I can smell your guilt from a mile away. I've heard of someone like you lurking about getting trouble. You, you'd never dream about it. What the fuck? I'd fucking both of them. 
Because my prince <laughs> ran back here. Yeah, I'm not fucking. I'm not being your distraction anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, did you lose any items on Sabil? Got a reason to be sneaky around like that. Uh, did I? Or did I not? No, I still have all of it. I'm just gonna wait for him to stop chatting. I think I'm done stealing. I'm not done. I'm barely getting you. Barely getting started, motherfucker. <laughs> you gotta have people coming at you. Right, here's the plan: have Sabiel like stand outside or something, and then like give she's, all the stolen goods to her. She's all. She's a sentry or what? No, she's not the sentry. She's uh just like oh, dude, have a stand you, like you, you way need, away. You need to lockpick this. Get over here. Pick up the chest and just give it to to, <laughs> to store it. No, you pick up the chest and put it in the uh, the boat inventory. <laughs> The boat inventory? Because they if we steal it there, they can't do shit. I mean who cares? Right. We got Try enough. Trying to talk your way out of the situation. You try to talk your way out of the situation. Oh man. The fuck are you I can I can dude I can I have a fucking racial thing here. <laughs> Memory human <laughs> That's only because I'm a human. Oh shit, oh, okay, actually, I actually have decent wits, I think I could do it. Okay. No! Oh, rip. Oh shit. Well, I still have all- What?! What?! Oh, Calls nice- for combat just like that?! Fucking job! Okay, I'm loading it. Yeah, you're loading. Piece of shit. How did they <laughs> catch you?! <laughs> How did they catch you? It's because you gave something to Sabeel, or what? Yeah, it's because I, I think it's because you send something to Sabiel. You're not supposed to do that. Okay, I'm, I'm still gonna steal everything, but I'm gonna send it all the way over to me. I mean, no, no, you can just you just keep it for yourself. That's all you do, and we just sort it out later. Or I get, uh, yeah, you. Why not? Let's just send it to the ship. Fucking why not? Just have no stolen goods in us for now. Yeah, okay, that sounds fun. Cause I, I gotta sell the hat anyway, cause it's. Stop right there, criminal even... scum! <laughs> you violated just do the it? law. What? The way you said that was like, it's like, cause I'm still loading in, bro. No, no, I'm still loading in too. Okay. I'm just, I'm just saying, that's how the guards are in this right now. <laughs> it's like, I opened a fucking dresser drawer, took some shit out, like, hey, you. Yeah, I think you I gave- I smelled that stealing. She, no, no, it's cause you, you sent one directly to Sabeel. It was unidentified. That's why. That's why it even worked out that way. Dude, there's gold on the ground. All right, I'm gonna send everything to thing. I'm just gonna put everything in the Lady of Vengeance. Yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll get it at some point, I'm sure. We'll, we'll just we'll come back. We'll come back there one time, and we'll be like, oh, nice. I was checking everything I have in my inventory, make sure it's not stolen. Oh, forget it. Oh, gloves. Oh, these are shit gloves, though. Fuck it, might as well just take them. Not like they cost anything. Perhaps I could go downstairs. Good enough. Absolutely not. The coffers, man. The coffers, they're to be guarded day and night. Alright. I have her stop talking. Coffer- Oh, dude, there's coffers here. Doesn't this room strike you as eerie? There's a chill in the air, a, a deeper darkness in the shadows. But, of course, I should hold my tongue and stand guard. All's well, as long as my lord's coffers are safe. Well, I know what to do here. Oh, wait, hello, sir. How do you do? I am Baron Levere. I am Baron Levere, not he. Not he, I am Baron Levere. Uh, urge his spirit to explain his predicament. Who's he? An imposter is he. That man over there, a lone wolf in my own sheep's clothing. Bejeweled is he with a false name. Draped is his back with a false mantle. Bedecked are his cheeks with a false beard. Murderer, 
thief, imposter. I am Baron Levere. Uh, ask the spirit, uh, ba ban uh, Baron Levere, why Lone Wolf murdered him. A rival's revenge? Another merchant's madness? Oh, the fear of gold is reason's bane. What are you teleporting? But it matters no longer what drove them to daggers. It matters who drove them into my flesh. You who hears the laments of the dead, avenge me. Kill the false baron. Give me back my name. Please, avenge me. Seems less lush somehow. Ah, uh, so this guy's a fake. It's as lush Go as on, it's sun's out. Let me talk to him. Here now. When one's in a small town, one must expect small town manners, I see. Have you a reason for barging into my room, sir? Uh... You mean to offend? Apologize for the intrusion. No harm done, I suppose. Though why I pay good money for these so-called bodyguards is another question entirely. Still, I may as well introduce myself. Baron Levere, at your service. Why is he in need of a guard? I'm a wealthy man, and wealthy men need protection, especially if they accompany their wealth. The merchant's burden, you see. He must escort his merchandise, always. Uh... Huh. So, okay, so... Where are you at? Are you talking to my fucking lone wolf guy? You found him. This guy? Yeah, it's Barnes. Come to me, Van. Uh, okay, um, I need to explain to you the situation because I guess you were paying attention. See the spirit behind there? Yeah. He's apparently the real Baron, uh, Levere. This guy is an imposter. Okay, hang on, let me, let me try talking to right. the other guy, you can listen to him with... Uh, well, one sec, let me see what he has to sell. Right, he's got, like, nice items, actually. That is actually a really nice axe, but it has no socket. Eh. Uh, that's not worth, I think. Alright, let me just uh, stop talking. Alright. Yeah, go ahead. Go through the dialogues. Yeah, I've, I've already done all this, by the way. So you didn't get any special dialogue with him? Yeah, nothing there. Okay, try talking to you, the, the imposter, then. Where'd he go? He's, uh, right here. Oh, sorry, I couldn't see him behind Beast. He squints at you and laughs. Looking closer, you see the man is wearing a very obvious fake beard. Behind the atrocious fox hair, you recognize the mischievous twinkling eyes of a lone wolf, Callow. Ifan, forgive my uh, style. I look a right pickled pepper pot, don't I? Hmm. Like, I, don't, I, I don't get this. I don't get this dialogue, so it's all you. Kalo, ask why the hell you pretend to be some rich knob. Why do you think? Why do we ever do any of the ridiculous stuff we do? It's for a contract. Oh, nice job on Alexander, by the way. That'll net you a pretty penny, I'd wager. Uh, Tom, you haven't quite yet succeeded in killing Alexander. More's the pity. Hmm. Best get back on that, eh? Or they'll be calling you the Silver Floor. <laughs> Dick. So what next? Grapevine says you know the whereabouts of more Godwoken. Guess you'll be taking them on over Roost's way, eh? Hmm. I'm usually not too sure what you plan to do now. Wow. Inspiring attitude. Dick? Sure, Roost will love to hear it. You know where he's at? Him and the boys have camped out at an abandoned sawmill not too far from here. Baron hunkers down and sketches a rough map from your present location on the floor using an apple, some playing cards, and a fistful of threads pulled up from the carpet. Suppose you'd best get moving, hmm? And I'd best get back to living the no-thrills-barred life of this <laughs> chump. <laughs> Compliment on Baron's impersonation. I do I say that the ghost is haunting him, man. It's just the best. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> You're not trying to say this exactly, but Baron's ghost is haunting him. Creepy. <laughs> um, <laughs> don't you kind of see the ghost point of view? Come on. How many ghosts do you think have haunted you? Uh. <laughs> Compliment of his impersonation, I guess. 
Ah, you know how it is. Pretend you own the place and a surprisingly large number of people just go along with it. But I won't lie, the beard does go down well with the ladies. Time to hit the road, straighten his fake mustache and stride off. Baron laughs and swats you away. That's actually funny. Oh, well, we don't have to kill this guy if you don't want to. To, to try telling the spirit here to, to, to fuck off or something, I don't know. Uh, yeah, you can't do that. Yeah, just take your leave. I mean, we don't have to kill him. I don't really care. Now, that's a trap. Oh, shit. Oh, he's safe. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, this cake. Go on. Sun's out. You really want to be in here? Ah! Yeah, hey, wait one second, one second. I'm, I'm right now, I'm trying to, I'm trying to distract all of them. Better watch yourself, lass. Okay, go ahead. Got greedy eyes on you. Oh, Byron is currently being a dick and distracting with Ethan, I guess. No, yeah, he's no, in no. make, make Ethan talk to him then. You nerd. Mine. <laughs> and I'll see you at Lady Vengeance. Wait, no, there's another one there. Yeah, yeah no, I'm just, uh, I'm just sending it first. Be careful with the mines. So, so what about what about the, the chest over here? All in due time, my friend. Oh, by the way, that doesn't work anymore. One just walked away from me. Yeah. What are you staring at? Yeah, let me give it a go. I'll save a roof. Your beard, my lord. It seems <laughs> lush somehow. It's as lush as it's. So I guess we're not gonna kill him then. Now train your eyes on my treasures, not my person. Locked, huh? There's a locked door here. Jammed, Skook. Oh, uh, you can you can try to uh, uh, unlock. He the door. stepped on his own trap. What? He did? What? What? Seriously? I'm on the search for missing goods. Might you <laughs> look for all your bags? Allow the search. Good choice. Let's see what you got. Well, I can't find anything unusual. Sorry for the trouble. <laughs> Get out. All right, you made you made a you made a good call. <laughs> No, he saw me. <laughs> Trying to talk the way of the situation. Wait, no, what the fuck? All right, can load it though. <laughs> Best thief ever. <laughs> I saw a chance to steal the chest. We turned around and saw me take it. Oh shit! All right, I'll leave that desk. I'll come back for it later. I mean, can't you do like, like some kind of like invisibility spell or something? It breaks when you pick stuff up. It oh, work. yeah. Okay. It's it's not like in Divinity 1 where you just fucking take everything. Like, who gives a shit? <laughs> yeah, whatever. I'll just take these paintings in the middle of the marketplace. Don't worry about it. Everything Game's is easy. Fun. Everything is fun. <laughs> oh, shit. That was funny. Oh, I guess that's that's why he stepped on his own trap, because he looked over like, hey, the chest's gone, shit! <laughs> I forgot there was- <laughs> he should have stole the traps, too. I think I could steal the traps. I did like how he actually, like, went like, can I see if you have it on you? And he didn't have it. <laughs> yeah. Alright, this door is locked. Oh good, you saved it afterwards, okay. Yes, I did. I'm smart. Oh, forget it. You can try it again. Yes, my <laughs> I've not learned my lesson. I do believe thief's on the list. Still my room, don't you know? Oh, whoops. Uh, hands off. Hands off. Oh. Doesn't this room Here. strike you as eerie? As, that, as soon as that guy goes. There's a chill in the air. A, a deeper get ready, darkness get ready to go. in shadows. Oh, he's like looking right at it. You could get F and it. <laughs> Oh fucking dude! How, Wait, did what? You, how did you think that would possibly pay off, dude? Wait, what? <laughs> just did, like, it was like it's literally scary. right in front of him. The fucking chest disappears. <laughs> He's like, what thief? But you know what? He didn't see Beast. <laughs> oh my god! That is, that is fucking stereotyping. He turned around, saw a shady looking guy. Was like, you took that chest, didn't you? He didn't, he didn't take that chest. I took that chest. Alright. 
I mean, I've, I've been trying to distract the guards, and you haven't done that. I, I made them face the other direction. Wait, I'll do that. Jeez. Doing Calm down. Both my characters. What the fuck? Can't you multitask? God. I cannot multitask. We're punished with like a minute long loading screen every fucking time. <laughs> I can't wait for this chest to have nothing in it. Your beard. I do believe this is still Are mine. You Don't you know? There, there. I'm talking to both of them. I think if I just refresh it, it that, that they don't move away. <laughs> hey, this beast bag is on the bottom. Fuck. Fuck <laughs> it. <laughs> Store leave entrance. All right, take my leave. But of course. I'm All right, I'm leaving. I'm out. I guess I'll stop that. I'm out. And you can't be too careful. You know. The camera loot the drawers to you, but. No! <laughs> that was... Hey, look, let me clear my name. Allow the search. That's right, get away, bitch. Alright, go open the, this door. Alright, this one's pretty fine, it's not, not legal to unlock this door. Wait, why is this guy following us? Oh. The fuck? He can't have gone far! Oh uh, yeah, a lot of search. Did you take my shit? Yeah, yeah, it's, you just want to talk to me. <laughs> what the fuck, you just unlocked the door right in front of us. Thievery level 2 low? Fuck off. What, what thievery level do you have? 4. Like, high as I can get on him, Beast, I think. Uh, actually, let, let me... Uh, oh, 3? What the fuck? Should be higher than that. Uh, yeah, it's a level 4 door. Oh no, because I took a pun out of his talent. But, mm. Rip. Disgusting, that's Rip. what it is. Nah, we already lost. I All could right. just break the door open. I mean, I don't know. There's a lot of people here. Let me save it for you. Yeah, I was gonna say, just save it. Black. Yeah. And nobody cares. No, he says leave that door alone. Everyone cares. Yeah, he cares. leaves the door alone, so I'm leaving it alone. Alright. I'll, I'll try... Let's, let's see this one, then. This one locked? Yeah. Oh, I see. It's, this one's illegal. 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 Stick to your own kind is my advice. Oh, the lock can't be picked. Oh, interesting. You really don't have to look that far. <laughs> be careful of looting from stolen things. No, I, 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 I took, um, I took oh, a, I, I just took wine. All right, I'm gonna leave this place. Fuck this place. So you got your shit done, right? Yeah. That's glorious music. Alright, so we cannot yet go down into um, the, the Dwarven place, but I'm pretty sure if you go there, uh, he'll allow that, though. So if you do you want to try going down there? I gotta go down there. Yeah, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just head into the Magister Barracks because I have the I have the the note. I'll come with. Let's just stick together. I'm gonna talk to this the Magister. Magister startles, realizing there's a stranger in his midst. What do you want, lizard? You can't just come in here as you please. There's Magisters missing. I'm trying to conduct a bloody investigation. Scallon said that in the ancient empire you can go where you please. You don't have to answer to some jumped up fishing port bureaucrat. This isn't the ancient empire serpent. Now answer my bloody question. What are you doing here? Uh, Tom, you're accustomed to going wherever you choose. You don't, uh, you don't intend prayer to stop for him. You can circle the poles twice each for all I care. As long as you don't interfere with my investigation. Uh, ask about this investigation. Uh, there was mention of a fugitive? Yes. A vile little tinkerer goes by the name of Higba. Three of my magisters have gone missing of late from right here in Driftwood. All signs are that Higba is responsible. Is there a reward? Catching, killing, I don't care. There'll be gold for whoever puts an end to this rat. If you see anything, tell me or my men at once. Otherwise, keep the hell out of our way. Uh, raise the subject of the disappearances. Well, do you know anything? Right, we have nothing stop to report. My time, then. All right, I so we're, where's the thing? My career is at stake. Maybe it's down here. 
Driftwood Prison. Uh, I guess this would have been where you went. This would have been your home away from home. Oh, a chunk of flesh! Where? Shit, I gotta get, get put, I gotta get put in prison so we get the chunk of flesh. <laughs> Can't we just teleport it out or teleport someone in there? Magister Sounds too easy. Master turns to you with a scowl. He already seemed immensely displeased, and your interjection isn't improving his mood. What? Uh, ask him what has him in such a foul mood. The Magister glances at you like you're something he just stepped in. Keep out of it! Uh... Try flattery. Ask the formal magister uh, such as he has been regulated to such menial duties. That's what I want to know. Stuck here with those silent things. The new leadership ought to learn to respect its veterans. We're the ones who uphold the rule of law, not white ponches like Raymond and Jonathan. Express your sympathies and suggest perhaps he'll be reassigned soon. A sly smile creeps across the magister's face. Aye. And sooner than you might think, if the rumors are true. Let's just say, there's other places where I'd be appreciated more than I am in Driftwood. <laughs> say that he's piqued your curiosity. Uh, what is this other place that he'd be more appreciated? The Magister loses some of his bluster. I, I ain't saying. It's a secret for loyal members of the Divine Order only. <laughs> Tom, you should leave then and join up with whatever venture is this venture is. Who asked you? You're not even supposed to be down here. Uh, tell him to follow his instincts. He won't win any glory if he stays in this place. The Magister glances around the cells before ripping the keys from his belt and casting them aside. This isn't the divine order I signed up for. Not anymore. I'm done. Sweet. You got keys. The legal keys. There's, key, there's keys on the ground. I, I, I convinced him to leave. So where's the nice rite of passage? Uh, there you go. I have a rite of passage still. Wait, why do I have a fucking legging of insight? Oh my god, why do hey, I- Hey, everything's, everything's why do, legal down here now. Why do, why do my pants keep coming off? <laughs> I don't know why. Is it a common problem, Mike? Apparently. Every time I look at my inventory, alright. You don't give a shit any now. It's I'm gonna get the chicken ch 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 flesh. Yeah, because he left. <laughs> gonna get fucking Sibyl her snack. Give me, I'll let Sibyl pick up. Sibyl can eat her own food. Ah. A painful death, trapped and defenseless. Wow, that was so worth. <laughs> what happened? Uh, nothing. I'll need to nice. get clever with this lock. So wait, do, do the keys now transfer between us? Maybe because we're not. Yeah. I guess not. I'll go lock the guy's cell as well. Oh, is this sorcerer's ring? Fucking Intelligente and Gra and Grant's fire slug. Okay, you can just have that. I'm not even gonna oh, take Grant's that. fire slug? Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, get over here and get it. All right, there's the. Get over there and get calm the. There. I'll just open the other door for you. God, calm down. Yeah, apparently you're fucking the jailkeeper now. <laughs> you have a lot of experience with this, I see. Call me the fucking crypt keeper. <laughs> Lucky find. Oh, piece of yeah, mind scroll. Ethan. I'll give that to Ethan. I'll just put a arrow third when he gives a shit. Oh, what's in this place? Empty potion bottle, small poison. I'll just give them both to Ethan. All right, Th this whole place was not worth. I just want to mention. Love grenade. Okay, I guess I guess that is kind of worth. All right, well I'm done with that. The ring was worth. Prison. I'm just for selling, it's worth. Did you not check that guy's cell? Uh, I did. He didn't really have any. He had two potion bottles on him. I don't know if there's anything else there. Sorcerer's most wanted. There's a list here. Oh, wait. That's what we want. That's actually what we wanted this whole time. Shit. Yeah. How did I almost... It's on this uh, room in here. I'm coming. Sorcerer's I'll let you read it. Alright. That's the way so you can read it. Uh, there we go. A dwarf, a lizard... I just... Efen Ben Mess. Don't Even worry about it. Lone Wolf. <laughs> uh... Dude, uh, you are literally on the list. Don't <laughs> just worry you, about it. Just you. 
Don't worry about it. Uh. Ken, did you kill Rita? I'm a Rita? terrible man, apparently. Did you kill Rita? I may have, I don't know. Alright, what's on the second floor? There's a, another magister here. Calm down, Brianna. Carver's got his dossier on his Oh, foot. great, a citizen. Can't you see I'm on a break here? Tell you found a destroyed magister caravan outside of town. What? Oh, no. Poor Demori. Go tell Magister Ryman or Magister Julian immediately. They'll raise the alert. Go. Now. But we already did. Head nodding drowsily, the Magister brings her voluminous sleeve up to her face. She sniffs loudly and suddenly jerks to attention, eyes red-rimmed with zeal, and something else. They won't take me unawares. I'm... I'm ready for anything. See? I have Inceptin. It... Well, I'm ready. That's what matters. Vigilance! Uh, okay, who are they? Why, whoever snapped him magisters off the street and disappearing them? Six lost in a week. Six! Need to be ready. Ready. Ready! Ready to protect. Waving you away, she cranes her neck to scan all around her, jaw clenched and eyes flickering. Oh, right, she's a bit crazy. I'm on a break now, Yvette. You better not... So there's a weird chest down here. There's a bunch of chests here, but I'm, I'm not going to... Spend my time doing oh, this. Alright, where were you at? I'm in the uh, jail again, prison. Okay. Your There's a locked chest called Unknown. Uh, did so you... I like to request the save before I break the game. Alright. Go ahead. That's like, probably won't work, but fuck. What did... Oh, it opened. Uh... What's in there? Oh. There's a. Alright, I'm gonna get this ring to Seville. Okay. Get to identify it first. It's a 27 magic armor, huntsman and power kinetic wet ring. It's not bad, actually. Yeah, not bad. But I'll take it from me then. So you're upstairs? Yeah, I am. Uh, you, all right, yeah. I'll give you. I'll give you the other ring I had. It's a piece of shit. What was up upstairs? Uh, just uh, two magisters. There's a bunch of chests there. If you really want to try and have a crack at that, but it's like probably not worth. Probably not. All right, where are we heading to now? So we did that thing. We did things in the black hole. There's Mortis's house. Who's Mortis? One of the wanted sorcerers. Oh, okay. Sure, that's good. But maybe the most wanted him. list is one. Well, wait, wait, wait. What? Remember, we're here to try and find a source master. Uh. And they'd be one of the most, the most cunning and like hunted ones. Yeah. Maybe he can teach us how to use source. Yeah, that's, that's what we wanted, isn't it? I'm going to him right now. Yeah, let's go find him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, fuck that guy. Yeah, you wanna fight? Kick his ass. Alright, let's save a Rooney. It's locked. Well. Oh, well. no, wait, no, wait, there's an open door over here. <laughs> there's no lock it anyway. Uh, real, uh, what the fuck? Is this, like, fucking... Okay. The dwarf is unnaturally still. You might mistake her for a corpse, were it not for a slight twitch of her eyelids. Poker. She calmly opens her left eye, then her right. What do you want? Uh, Talia, this is an unusual spot to be napping. Nah, uh, nice quiet spot for a dwarf to get some shut eye. I'll point to the hatch beneath her, what's down there? Uh, cobwebs, I reckon. Maybe some spiders and silverfish, rats, nothing you want, if, unless you collect cobwebs, I guess. Inform her she's a squatter and she's to find a new home, this one's yours. Oh. Fine, all you want. I'm staying and you're leaving, and that's that. Before you can ask more, the dwarf holds up her hands and closes her eyes. She's done talking. Well, if you're done you talking. Get. She rolls her- Well, I can't go down there. Well, yeah, we can. Teleport. <laughs> 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 All right, well, I'm doing it. Where should I put her? Outside. <laughs> put her on the fucking foot porch. It won't budge. Hang on, I'll, I'll just engage from the fight. <laughs> You're just gonna run away. 
Hey, it, she's stabbing me. Wait, what's this? I found something big. Oh, you shit! Me, you fucking killed you. Oh my god! Flee combat. What if I go down the stairs? <laughs> Flee combat then. There we go. Dude, it's she hurt. I mean, there's shit here. Duna's dagger, crimson dragon. You here to free us up? <laughs> Did you fucking follow us? Source hunter. <laughs> God damn it! Do we have to kill her? <laughs> if we just if we just load the game. Fine. <laughs> uh, how do you want to? You want to try talk? Yeah, why don't you get dwarf to talk to her? Actually, yeah, I'll try having dwarf. Yes, get her own dwarf. kind to fucking talk. You know, movie arse. It's probably what we should have actually done. Like, how did she <laughs> fucking one hit you? Holy shit! She fucking backlashed and then just stab, stab, and just even melted. You fan is a sad boy. Sad, sad boy. <laughs> I'm so happy she chased me down the stairs, huh? <laughs> I thought you were fleeing combat. <laughs> yeah, you're but I couldn't do it, it because, like, I, I can't get far enough away. It's like, like, why don't we just go down the stairs and then flee combat? And I broke combat and I thought it was fine. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, shit. I mean, you sanctioned this by trying teleporting her. I don't don't put this on me. All right, go tell her to fuck off with Beast. Get Beast to talk to her. There it is. Whistle sharply and order her on her feet. She calmly opens her left eye, then her right. I ain't one of your crew, Captain. What do you want? Uh, point to the hatch beneath her. Uh, what's down there? Uh, cobwebs, I reckon. Maybe some spiders and silverfish, rats. Nothing you want, unless you collect cobwebs, I guess. Muster a noble effect and tell her the queen herself has ordered you entry. <laughs> queen, my behind. You ain't much of a trickster, fatty. But if you play cards with a stacked deck, I'd still win. Before you can ask more, the dwarf holds All right, up her hands and closes her, her eyes. Fuck this. I got, I, got one more, I got one more dude to try. This is no time for idle chit -chat. She rolls her eyes before closing. Yeah, no, it's 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 over. It's time for combat. Let me just close the door. So be rude. Back. Let me <laughs> close the door. Let me get, let me put your fence back to the wall. <laughs> it's getting mighty creepy. All right, uh, what are we gonna do here? Am I gonna just, uh, guess I'll just peace of mind myself and then, uh, that's my turn. All right, let's see here. What kind of amazing shit do I have here? That I can use. Uh, is so dead. You're so dead. All right, let's see here. We can do sky shot. Let's see what happens. How do you do that indoors? Yes, it feels dead my ass. Uh, ignore his armor or reactive shot. Yeah, we don't need reactive shot. Oh my, one more. <laughs> Why me? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I can turn into a chicken. Don't worry, I can turn into a fucking meat pile. <laughs> wait, wait, can I help you out? Are you f no, you're sleeping. I can't do shit for you. Oh, for her? Oh, well. I was gonna use an ability on you, but fuck it. I guess this will help. She's got- I got atrophy on me, but I think I can remove that, can't I? Cannot use weapons or skills, though. I don't know how you even get rid of that. I'm just gonna... Oh, 
Oh, you can't you can't inc incorporate weapons for attacks or skills, but you can still use them. Oh, oh, wait, nice, no, doesn't work. Shit. Fuck it, whatever. Defensive mode is so hard to fight, guys. One second. Okay. Oh, I can remove atrophy. Nice. Can fortify remove atrophy? No. No, no, no. I, I have, uh, I have a uh, break the shackles, but it costs, a, it costs us uh, a source point when I use it. Should be dead before then. I won't worry about it. Okay. Uh. Anyway, what, is there any kind of new skills I can use here? Not really. Living on the edge. Whatever. Push it to the limit. I guess I just get to hit shit. Yeah, like I can. Yeah, I don't want to do that then. Whatever. Actually, wait, does clear mind get rid of uh, atrophy? No. So it does I... first aid. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. Oh, does it? It just did. Cures crippled, knocked down, blind, silenced, bleeding, burning, poisoned, diseased. No, no. Yeah, it did. Why did it do that? That's so confusing, actually. Whatever, dude. Yeah, that's uh, my, my thing. Exactly. Hey, you got, you got your weapon back now. Glory is mine. Why is the sound fucking cutting out? It's weird. It sort of sounds like I'm in a fucking goldfish bowl or something. Level up? Why did your totem level up? <laughs> I don't know, man. Soulmate? I'm not your soulmate. The fuck? I'm a dragoon now! see healing and armor restoration from the Link character. That's I think actually, a good ability to get. That's, that is kind of neat. So from it's any character? Or do they, have to, they have, do they have to link to you? I have to link to them. Oh, I see. When's the last? Thunderbolt grenade wizard leggings. Oh shit. Fire arrow for oh, Sabio. Not bad. There's a key. A healing potion. Uh, who needs healing potion? Uh, probably you, I imagine. Okay, I'll give it to Sabio. That was my loud ass phone. Oh shit, there's a chest here. I mean, I'm gonna unlock it, but you should have Sabio open it for the lucky charm. I mean, I, I, I expect her out of that for the most part, you know that, right? Oh, fair enough. Right then. It doesn't really matter. Oh, that's your chest. I was thinking of you. Fuck, I want the gold. Fuck. No! <laughs> uh, magic armor potion. Who should get that? I guess, I guess, uh, I guess Red Prince can get the potion. So, idea, yeah. that's a really weird bow. That gives physical damage, finesse... Necromancer. That's interesting. Sure, why not? Did, did, is there something special about it when I equip it? No, there really isn't. I mean, someone might recognize it on me, but you know, who cares? Fuck them. Alright, we just got another upgrade for my bow. Even though I kind of wanted to be crossbows, um, I guess we're not. Well, we just keep. It doesn't really matter. I just find whatever's better at the time. Yeah, I guess so. All right. Well, let's uh, go down into the thing here. <sighs> it won't budge. Because <laughs> yeah, your fat ass is on there. <laughs> All right. Let me give it a good old clear There we go. The door's opening. Duna's dagger, Crimson Dragon. You here to free us or kill us? Uh, ask what they're doing in this place. You're not getting an answer till you keep your hands free of wands and such. Alright, fine, we'll keep it peaceful. Good to see you'd rather flop your lips and fight. We're here looking for a slippery snake called Mordus. This here's his quarters, but ain't no sign of him. Only thing we managed were to close that door behind us and get us stuck. Supposed to be another door out there, but never could find it. This Mortis, what is he up to? Where is he gone? Ain't no telling where that priest went off to. Started acting all funny not so long ago. Then flew the coop. Why is it every single dialogue option has, I, I've heard enough, uh, attack them? Why? Why would I want to kill them? Because <laughs> you're a dick. Acting funny? Ask what she means. Well, at first, 
he was just buddying around with Lohar and the rest, you know. But then he'd start looking all sickly and run off for a day or two. Then some stranger tried taking old Lohar down, but got himself caught and tied up. Ain't no coincidence Mordis went hanging around then. She taps a finger against her forehead. A woman knows things. Nothing's getting past me. Alright, send him away. Best we head off then. We've got business to attend to. Hope that wasn't your friend up there we murdered. Ah, <laughs> uh, they won't suspect the thing. It's fine. Oh, unidentified amulet. 33 magic armor, intelligente, pyrokinetic, and telekinesis. Pretty good. Oh man, chew toy! I just gave you an amulet. Chew toy? Wow. It's my chew toy. And there's also a chest here too. Careful, I've spotted a trap. Oh, how the. Wait, I walk. I just walked over that. Yeah, no, I what did happen? What what happened? What did it do? I don't know. It disconnects the deal. Oh, it closed the door behind us. Oh, oh, that's not not <laughs> good. I I'm gonna guess they knew about this. It didn't tell us, but oh well. All right, well uh. won't do. If I can get stuck, then I can get unstuck. Okay. Oh, I was just about to talk to that. The shrine. I don't need to read this. Yeah, Shrine depicts Duna. Clearly seen better days. Scratches and fissures deface his exterior and its eyes have been gouged hollow. You run your hands along the exterior until your fingers graze a button. Kneel and pray. <laughs> <laughs> Kneel you scrape pray. your knee on the wooden floor. <laughs> Nothing else happens. <laughs> Reach your hand out to touch the shrine. The stone is cold against your palm. If this figure once held power, it has since been depleted. Press the button. There's no mistaking the sound of stone chafing stone. The entrance to the chamber grinds open, filling your lungs with slightly less stale air. Alright, yeah. Easiest fucking escape of our lives. <laughs> so bad I want to go tap on it again. <laughs> Yeah, but there's some beer canisters here. I'm gonna go uh, have a drink. Oh shit, you can combine beer with things. One second. This is important to me. I spotted something. What did you spot? Oh, there's another... You spotted the thing. I was gonna yeah. look for it. It's locked. I'll unlock it. Yeah, no, I have to I have to do something very important. Oh, uh, what? You can't combine barrel with beer. Barrel. <laughs> I can't make another beer barrel. <laughs> live and dream, live in the dream over there. Yeah. Uh, skull. It's missing an eye. As far as locks go, this one's pretty macabre. All right. Well. Lock pick. Did you get it? Thievery level too low. Oh, it doesn't tell so you. Not. Not impossible. Just too low. Well, do we see where an eye is or no? I mean, I'm trying to see if I have anything here related to that. I don't think I do. I mean, I have a ruby. I mean, you can try. Well, I don't know how I'd try that. I'd have paid better to do that. Uh, I don't know. It might, it might be... Uh, the guy may have it. I don't know. Alright, well, let's let's leave. Oh no, someone was murdered here. How did this happen? I have an idea. What? There's some air in this room we didn't check. So I'm gonna close this again. No. What? I can't get in there. Oh dude, a pillow. Oh yeah, there is something behind there. A row of books there. You're right. <laughs> Don't worry about it. See schematic and a letter to Mortis. I'll give them both to you. All right. Letter to Mortis. You are a lucky man. Your failure to assassinate Lohar could have been ruinous. Or is there a same? See that the weapons from the Peacemaker reach arc arcs unharmed. I'll wait for their arrival. 
Careful, there are a number of Godwoken who have escaped the fort. Should they pass through Driftwood en route to their Meister, they will make sure they pass no further. All right, drop, drop upon the page of the elaborate schematic. It closely resembles a broken shrine to Duna in Mortis's quarters, and depicts a mechanism operated by a button on the statue's back. <laughs> so useless. Yeah. Uh. It mentioned attempt to uh, attempt to assassinate Lohar at behest of some unknown figure. Some kind of ritual, Mord Akem. Who, who's Lohar again? Where's Lohar at? I think that's the one we went to find in the area. Okay. Alright, well, you got everything from there then. You knew you could just teleport a pyramid to that. Yeah, but I wanted to do the shrine. I, I gotta respect the shrine. Yeah, I respect the shrine. Alright, I think that's all the time we have for today, guys. Uh, I guess we're gonna peace out, so thanks a lot for watching. Take care. Goodbye. Goodbye!